To understand how all of this works, we have to understand there's two major pieces to the cake. Number one is gonna be icing. This represents front-end cash of the gym. It's how much cash do you collect when you sign someone up. Number two is cake, right? And so this is that cakey part, and this represents the re reoccurring EFT revenue of a gym. So think about it as your MRR, monthly reoccurring revenue. And this is obviously extremely important, the EFT is, because it gives the business ultimately consistent cash flow. Regardless of the seasons, regardless of what happens, it basically helps make your gym bulletproof. If you're a gym owner, today is your lucky day if you are watching this because I am going to walk you through the most profitable micro gym business model in the world. And we call it the Wedding Cake Gym Profit Model. It was something that was designed by Alex Ramosi and we have tweaked it over the past five plus years. But I'm gonna walk you through this right now. My name is Kale Lowe and I am the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And my goal and vision in life is ultimately to help gym owners and fitness professionals reach more people, change more lives, and stack a whole bunch of cash along the way. If you wanna watch this, let's dive right in. Okay. So we've been using this model, this wedding cake gym profit model for the past five years. And while it's been tweaked over the past few years, obviously shout out to the C word, can't even say it. The recipe ultimately for this entire thing basically stays the same. And we call it, like I've mentioned before, the wedding cake gym profit model. And we say that it is the most advanced because we've proven this year over year. It's the most advanced micro gym business model in the world. After surveying 30,000 plus gyms over the last four to five years, we found that 95% of gyms follow a certain model. We call it the broken gym model. And if you think about it, and I'm gonna stick with the cake idea here, the model looks like this. Notice how this cake ultimately only has one layer, which means it only has one level of service. For example, if you are a large group training facility and you just offer large group, you don't offer semi-private, you don't offer private training, you just pretty much only offer one level of service. That's one layer. If you are a health club or big box and your primary focus is just trying to work on their reoccurring revenue by just general drafts in regards to your general membership, same thing. If you're not trying to and spending time trying to ascend clients into PT or semi-private or some other level of service, you're just a one trick pony. And that's a major problem in today's world, right? The other piece that you'll notice on this cake is there's no icing, right? And when we talk about icing, what we mean is front end cash flow. And what do I mean by front end cash flow? I mean by are you collecting cash when you sign someone up? So when we talk about that, this is what most gyms look like. They just sign people straight up into EFT and there's not enough cash flow to actually help them grow their business and scale. The next one is that you'll notice that this cake kind of looks pretty dry because of that fact, it will break easily under poor conditions. Now, the piece with this is we saw this during COVID is a lot of gyms that didn't have multiple layers of service. They weren't able to adapt quickly and go online and they had very little cash flow to sustain them that they broke and ultimately closed down because 25% or more of gyms ultimately closed down between 2020 and 2022. And so this is a big piece. Now, from a number standpoint, from a large group training facility, this is typically what it looks like. They typically have around 16 to 20 people per session. Their average EFT per month is around $120 a month. They have roughly 80 to 120 members. They have seven daily sessions. Ultimately, if you think about it from a max revenue standpoint, they typically cap out in that really 12 to $18,000 a month range. So we can sit at the 16K. But ultimately, when you look at rent, payroll, marketing, utilities, software, cleaning, miscellaneous, owner pay, all this stuff, there's no profit left over for the business. And it reaches a point of max capacity, but because of pricing and because of the way that everything is working within the business, it reaches max capacity, but no profitability. And that's a major problem. And unfortunately, that model, this broken model, doesn't account for two massively important business drivers that we think about. Number one is accommodating buying curves. And number two is maximizing buying curves per customer. And I wanna talk about these. So the main driver, number one, would be accommodating buying curves, right? So the first driver in this model is maximizing profit per customer, right? So every person ultimately spends money in a variety of ways, right? And on different things. So what you wanna do as a business is ultimately to maximize the amount of money that you're able to extract from every single client that you have, given their priorities and spending power within a single vertical. And so think of it like ultimately like an accommodating strength curve where you are more mechanically advantaged depending on where it's at, right? A simple example of this, of accommodating buying curves is if you attach bands to a leg press. So if you're a fitness professional watching this, you understand this, you do this. Ultimately on a regular leg press, you're stronger at the top of the movement and weaker at the bottom. Now, if you train without bands, right, you're really only training the bottom of the movement because the top is really not that heavy. In theory, if you were going to add accommodating resistance to this, right, via a band, then ultimately it allows you to maximally train a muscle through an entire range of motion. This would be in contrast to only being hard at one point and easier throughout the rest of the movement. In an accommodating strength curve, 
in theory, it gets you bigger, stronger, and faster. Now, what's interesting is that we see customers spending the same way. We need to create an accommodating buying curve. This encourages customers who are ultimately willing and able to spend more to do so, while also allowing the, and I'm putting this in quotes, weaker customers to spend up to their limits. So what does this look like in reality? So let's look at a normal gym and example. Let's say you have 10 clients, you have 10 of them, they're each paying $100 a month, you're making $1,000 total. Your monthly value per customer is $100. It's very simple. Now, what happens if you then decided to make an offering to those stronger customers that were able to charge more, and let's say you sold them on semi-private training every single month, and you got two of them to ascend into that where they're each paying you $600. Now, all of a sudden, you've got eight clients that are paying you $100 each, that's 800 total per month. You've got two clients paying you $600 each, that's $1,200 total. All of a sudden, you're making $2,000 per month total, and your monthly value per customer is now $200. You've literally doubled the monthly value per customer just by selling two people into a program that they already want. That is what we mean by that. The second piece is maximizing buying curves per customer. And so you want to think about maximizing not just revenue, but also profits per customer by dipping into different, what we call spending wallets or otherwise known as verticals. Now people have different priorities and different limits depending on what they're buying. An example of this might be a client who goes to your gym and they spend, let's say $150 on service at your gym, but then they also spend $200 a month on supplements. And then they also spend $150 a month on Google limit. And then they also also spend $500 a month on meal prep or eating out or whatever. And my video's in the way so you can't see the amount, but let's say they spend $500. If you only offered one of these, so let's say you just offered services, even when you're totally maxed out, you would only be capturing one aspect of this customer's true LTV because they have multiple spending wallets around this. Because when you think about it, when a client goes to your gym, especially a new one, and they're taking on a new identity, what do they then go do? They go buy supplements. Cool. So they should probably just be buying it from you. Or they go into, they go buy new outfits for workouts. This happens all the time. What if they were buying it from you? And so the goal is to maximize your reach ultimately. And the way you do that is to serve people on as many levels and as high a level as you can. This is ultimately value. This is value. And this is how you win. And this is how ultimately we teach our gym owners how to create profit machines within their business. Okay. So what exactly is the wedding cake gym profit model? Let's break this down. To understand how all of this works, we have to understand there's two major pieces to the cake, right? So number one is going to be icing. This represents front end cash of the gym. It's how much cash do you collect when you sign someone up? Number two is cake, right? And so this is that cakey part. And this represents the re reoccurring EFT revenue of a gym. So think about it as your MRR, monthly reoccurring revenue. And this is obviously extremely extremely important, the EFT is, because it gives the business ultimately consistent cash flow. Regardless of the seasons, regardless of what happens, it basically helps make your gym bulletproof. And so when we build this out, if you look at this, and I'm actually gonna move my face over here, I'll move it up here, so you guys can see these numbers. The icing on the front end, when we look at a large group training, you're gonna use a front end offer that's anywhere 21 days, 28 days, six week, eight week, doesn't matter, but you're gonna collect cash when you sell them. And if you think about it from this standpoint, if you sold 15 people at let's say 600, right, or 500, or whatever it might be, you're making eight to $12,000, depending on your price point up front every single month. That's cash flow directly in. Then on the back end, as you begin to scale, 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 and your price point is anywhere between 167 to 199 every 28 days. Now, as you scale your gym, all of a sudden you're at $40,000 a month. This is how we scale gyms to $40,000 a month like that. So signing up this many people, we usually dump way more people on the front end and then they convert 75% into the back end very, very quickly. And so they scale extremely quickly. So this is how you get to $40,000 a month just on one level of service. But then let's look at the next level of service. So on this one, we've got hybrid. Now, hybrid Hybrid is simply just charging and ascending clients and having them pay you for custom nutrition and accountability. That's all it is. It's nothing crazy. It's just adding in a nutrition component, more accountability, which equals better results. But you should get paid for your time and for your expertise. This is very important. And this is even more important that if clients pay, they pay attention. How many times have you given out a free training plan, a free nutrition plan, and no one's followed it? The reason why is because they're not paying for it. So if you actually charge for it, you'll get your clients better results. So what happens is now this becomes an offer that you can sell to people on the front end. We have our clients selling five to 15 people a month. And let's say you sell five at anywhere between a thousand to $4,000 down, $5,000 right there. And then you're ascending your own clients into this. The next thing you know, you got 75 of your clients on top of your 150 that are paying you 330 a month in EFT because now they're on reoccurring because not only are they getting large group training, but now you've stacked on custom nutrition and accountability. All of a sudden you're at $25,000 extra there. So all of a sudden, just between these two layers, you're at $70,000 a month and nothing's really changed. All you're doing is just providing large group training. That next group all also gets access to large group training, but now you've tacked on nutrition and accountability. So you get better results and they stick with it. 
Now let's talk about semi-private. This is my favorite. So semi-private now gets us up. And semi-private, these are very, <laughs> these are very conservative models right here. But you can start doing semi-private. And we, we say semi-private is four on one typically, and you're charging anywhere between 500 to $1,000 a month in EFT. In actual, this is what you're gonna charge your clients. So on the front end, you can sell five to 10 people, make 10K on the front end, and then on cash collected with new people coming in, and then you just keep funneling them in to your semi-private EFT on the back end. And just at 20 clients a month at $500 a month, you're at 10K. So now all of a sudden, you're at $90,000 a month over the million dollar or million dollar a year mark and you're only just focusing on three layers. That's it. So then the next piece is internal plays. So what are internal plays? Internal plays are things that you can do every four to six weeks with your current clients to basically provide them new little challenges internally. It's ways to build community. It's ways to keep your clients engaged. It's ways to decrease attrition and ultimately use it as an upsell and a feeder system for your semi-private or hybrid programs. And so you can charge anywhere between 99 to $200 for these. And you'll typically get anywhere between 25 to 40% of your clientele to actually take this. And so then you're just charging them, make an extra 5K on this when you do it every month to six weeks. And then you're adding in your semi-private feeder system where you take those clients and then you upsell them because they're getting higher level of service. Maybe they're coming in for more workouts or maybe they're doing specific workouts. Like we have one that's called the, the Big Booty Boot Camp, right? And so they have one class a week for six people and they're just working glutes. Like that's it. Women love it. And it's exceptional. And it's a feeder system. It's like, do you guys want to keep doing this? Cool. Let's move you into our semi-private program. And all of a sudden you've got 30% of the people that decided to do your internal play, upsell into semi-private or hybrid. That's it. And then on top of that, then you've got products and supplements. So this is where, again, spending verticals, right? You could do apparel, you can do supplements. On here, it's just supplements. So a lot of our clients sell three, six, or 12 month packages up front and they receive $2,000, $4,000 in revenue. And then reoccurring supplement sales in the back end. This is commission, by the way. Our clients that sell Prestige Labs, because we have the most aggressive commission rate in the world when it comes to supplements, is 30% of the clients are on supplements, reoccurring, and they make $80 per client, per month, $80, on a four stack of supplements that people are gonna buy anyways. And so now you can start making an extra 6K, all of a sudden you're at $100,000 or more per year. And this is how we scale gyms. And so. Going back to this, this is the process to do it. So if you're at one layer, cool, lock that down. Let's get to $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 a month on one. Then let's implement the next level, then the next level, then the next level. And this is what we talk about. Once you get this basic level down, now we're talking about, we call it expansion revenue. You're just expanding the amount of verticals and spending wallets that you're getting into to maximize your profit. This is how gyms win. This is how gyms become bulletproof. This is how gyms ultimately reach more people, change more lives and make more money. Now, if you like this type of information, you want to learn more, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment down below. And if you want to download this right here, we've created a seven money models download where it walks through how we scale gyms to over hundred thousand dollars a month, like clockwork. It's free. It's in the description, hit the link and you can grab it. I appreciate you. I appreciate your attention and um, I'll see you on the next video.